Shalom to everyone. Today we're learning Zerishim Shot Parashat Naso. Parashat Naso has various topics, and one of the important topics, Parsha talks about Birkat Kohanim. Yivarechecha Hashem Ishmerecha, Yael Hashem Pana Velecha, Vichoneka Isa Hashem Pana Velecha, Veyasem Lecha Shalom. Sefat Emet says whoever hears Birkat Kohanim on any holiday, he is guaranteed to remain alive three more holidays. How? Yivarechecha Hashem Veyishmerecha. Shemira is Lel Shimurim, that is Pesach. Ya'er Hashem Pana Velecha, Hashem should enlighten your face, means his face Hashem should enlighten to you that is through the Torah which is Shavuot we had yesterday and Yisa Hashem Pana Velecha Ve'asem Lecha Shalom Hashem should raise his bracha over you and give you peace that is when Sukkot Shalom on Sukkot so here we got Pesach Shavuot Sukkot whoever Hears Birkat Kohanim on any holiday, he is guaranteed to remain three more holidays, as we said, Pesach, Shavuot, Sukkot. One of the biggest brachot in the world is Birkat Kohanim. You know, if you saw bad dream on Shabbat, you're not allowed to fast on Shabbat. Yeah. You have to eat meal, Oneg, Oneg Shabbat. So, if it bothers you, what you should do, go to Shul, have Kamana towards your dream, mm-hmm during Birkat Kohanim. And the power of Birkat Kohanim will destroy, destroy the bad dream that you had. Anu. Now, we're learning Zerah Shimshon. Why are we learning Zerah Shimshon? Because Rabbi Shimshon, Michael Ben Michael Nachmani, he had the only son, his son passed away. And he said, whoever learns my sefer, as if he's saying Kaddish for me, I'll be elevated in Olam Abba, and I'll make sure, I'll pray to Hashem, Hashem will perform for you open miracles. <laughs> Till today we've seen a lot of open miracles. Bezad Hashem, from today and on, those who are here, on those who are listening to the shiur, Hashem should make to all of you open miracles. Bezad Hashem, v'cheni l'atzom v'nomar. Amen. Amen. Second thing, you go to an old man and you say, please give me a bracha. He gives you bracha with one hand, right hand, left hand, doesn't matter. When you go to Birkat Kohanim, Kohen must raise his two hands. Why? Because in the whole Torah, the whole entire Torah, how many mitzvot do we have? 613. You write six, six. Then one, then one, then three. Six, one, three is ten. Ten fingers written in them, 613. So the Kohen gives you bracha. With all 630 mitzvot. And the last point of the Birkat Kohanim is Kohen. Why is he called Kohen? You say him, Mevarech, the one who gives bracha. Why you call him Kohen? Because Birkat Kohanim has 15 words. Yivarechecha Hashem, Vishmerecha Yael Hashem, Pana Velecha, Vichoneka Isa Hashem, Pana Velecha, Veyasem Lecha Shalom. 15 words. In these 15 words, you have 60 letters. Otiot. 60 and 15 will be 70. Five, let's count Kohen. Kav is 20. Hey is 5, 25. Nun is 50, 75. 70. This is why he's called Kohen. He is called Kohen because the source of Berachot that he gives makes him into this high degree person. Kohen, he's Mevarech. Why is he called Kohen? Because of 75, 16, 15. Now, let's see what Birkat Kohanim is. I'll tell you all my life. I was listening to Birkat Kohanim, knowing its value, but I never knew how strong it was. Today, we'll get a beautiful story and we'll open this Birkat Kohanim secrets and we'll conclude with that. Bemasechet Baba Batra, Perek Hey. In Gemara Baba Batra, chapter 5, page Daf Ayin Dalet Amud Alef, 74a. Amar Rabba Bar Bar Khana. Actually, if you have chance to go through this few pages Gemara over there, Rabba Bar Bar Khana tells you this uh, uh, Arab guy what all these interesting things in the world he showed him. 
he showed him how Korach is under the ground, how Korach is saying Hashem, Emet, Moshe Emet, Torah Emet, me, my nation, all our Badaim fakers. And one of the things that he showed, he said, come over here, I'll show you something interesting that you never saw in your life. Omarle, Omarle Autaya, Rabbi Barbachana says, this Arab told me, Come, I'll show you the end of the world where the land and the sky kissing each other. Means the end of the land. Uh, excuse me. We learned Gemara Chagiga page 12. Gemara Chagiga page 12 says, if you want to walk from one side of the world to another side of the world, how many years do you need to walk? 500 years. What do you mean? He wants to show him within a split second? Rashi says, excuse me, that's not possible. Why? Because Eretz Israel is in the belly button of the world, in the middle of the world. Everywhere. He cannot show him the end of the world if you're sitting in the middle. So what's going on here in the story? Let's see for now. There's something <coughs> deep. Look inside. Asli. Vechazoi the the ovit koi koi. So he said, "You know what? Come with me." He went. He put him right towards the end of the land and the beginning of the shamayim, and he made hole. Bach puts this girsa, but Gemara takes this language of the Gemara away. The koi koi takes away. So. Rabbi Barbachana came with this Arab guy, but he had in the middle, in the basket. He was in the middle of the going in the street, basket of the bread with him. So this Arab says, come, I'll show you where is Shamaim. And the land, sky and the land touching each other. So he came and he sees space. So he says, let me make a hole there. So he made a hole, window, and he put this basket on the window. Koi koi. Shekilta lesaltoi v'anchote. He took his basket of his bread and he put it on the window of the Shamaim, of the sky. As soon as he starts davening, he turned around and he sees the basket is gone. Someone stole it. Amre. Ike gan ve hacha. Rabbi Barbachana said to this Arab, ah, even here they are robbers. What do you mean? My basket is gone. He says, no, 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 my friend, don't worry about it. Amarle, galgalo darekihu. He says, don't you know, the sky is always turning. That time there was window, now window is gone. <laughs> Could be a professional Arab. I'll tell you what happened is, this Arab first took him into showing him the generation of the, of the desert who was with Moshe Rabbeinu. And then Rabbi Barba Khana stole something from them. Some say he took the tzitzit, tzitzit string to show everybody that they were wearing tzitzit. And what happened is, Arab is going further. He says, ah, where are you? Well, you got stuck there? He says, yeah, I got stuck. He says, ah, you got stuck because you stole something? He says, yes. You know Gemara, you know Mufashim say, Mufashim say, he spoke from experience. He wanted to steal first, and he said it didn't work because when he stole, he got stuck there. He couldn't move from there. So I said, "Put it back if you want to go further." It happened to me before. He said, "Yeah." So he put it back. Rav Barbachana put it down the tzitzit string by the generation of the desert, and then he started going further. By the way, Arizal Ariya Kadosh says the generation of the desert they were such a holy people. Hashem said, "Each one of you will come as a big, big rabbi." into the future generations. One of them was Ariza, one of them was Rabbi uh, Shimon Bar Yochai, one of them was uh, Akiva. Rabbi Akiva, <coughs> after 100 years maybe. <laughs> one of them was uh, Rabbi Wadja Yosef, one of them was big, big, big Gedolim, big Gedolim. Big Gedolim are those people of the generation of the desert. All the Neshamot coming down and they are big, big rabbis. He says, don't worry, don't worry. You want to get your basket? Stay here till tomorrow. 
that same cloud will come, that same sky will come back, and then you'll take your basket. The story finishes here. <coughs> we will not be able to understand what is going on Bichlal here until we'll repeat the story with our words. Now Barbachana meets certain Arab. Arab says, come, I'll show you where is the heaven and the earth kissing each other. The end of the life, the end of the world. So he shows him, it's here. So he says, yeah, here, if this is the sky that I could connect myself with Shekhinah, let me waste... Let me spend my time praying here. So he makes shh, koi koi, I don't know, like shh, shh, shh. He makes hole, he makes for himself a window. He puts his basket, starts davening, opens his eyes, there's no window there. He says, what happened? Where's my basket? He says, the world is twisting. If you want, wait till tomorrow, you'll get it. Did you understand the story? If I tell you, my brother, this is the most secret of Birkat Khanim in the world. Will you believe me? You say, Rabbi Akil became not known. Or, Where do you see Birkat Khanim? Do you see Birkat Khanim here? Not at all. But Baruch Hashem, the Sefer Akadosh, Zerah Shimshon, he, he's a learner who's inside, like a briska on the Chumash. And he gives good chidush, how it opens the secrets of the Birkat Khanim. Look and enjoy. By the way, even though Bikat Khanim the most strongest bracha in the world, when you bless your children or you stand under the tzitzit and wait, listen to, you're not allowed to talk. Some say Baruch Hu Baruch Shmo, Amen, Yilatzon, that's fine. But to say Psukim, our custom is not to talk. It's to listen in Kavana how it works. And look what Kohanim have to be doing. All the Kohanim doing, but maybe few things we're going to remind them today. It's unbelievable. Look inside. Guzmahu. He says, the whole story? You know what is this? How do you say when somebody talks too much? Say, exaggeration. He says, this is exaggeration. This story cannot be. He went to Shammai. Yeah, you need 500 years for that. Can't do that over a split second. Romzot Shapir in Yad Birkat Kohanim. It gives beautiful remes. Hint. To Birkat Kohanim. The Ita be Shulchan Aruch Orachayim. As it says in the Gemara, uh, Shulchan Aruch Orachayim, Siman Kuf Chaf Chet. 128. See if you bet. In the law, 12. The Kshe Kohanim Mevarchim et Ha'am. Mitkavnim Lasot Chamisha Avenim. Hey! When Kohen blesses people, he has to make five spaces. Look at this. Kohen holds his fingers like this, right? Look at this. Space number one, space number two, space number three, right? One more time. Space number one, space number two, space number three. Space number four, space number five. He has to make five spaces. Okay? How many spaces? Five. 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 Let's go further. Ben Between two fingers and two fingers first. Okay? Uven etzban le gudel, uven gudel le gudel. Between finger and a gudel, this is a gudel, thumb, and between finger and a thumb, second. Okay? The middle one. Yeah. Uposim kapeem, kede she ye toch kapeem, kineget a aretz, ve achore ye dehem, kineget a shamaim. They have to spread. Guys, you gotta look at me here. Rabhilil, they have to spread their hands as their hands is a ball of the land, the earth. And outside is the sky, Shamaim. As if this is the bottom and that is above. So Kohen's bracha goes from one side of the world to the second side of the world. Because they're making image with their hand. Of the whole earth. Okay? You got it? Why do I need spaces for? Okay, I understand. Outside is Shamaim. Inside is Eretz. Why do I need spaces for? We know the secret of blessing of the Kohanim is the great 
Birkat Kohanim nullifies many, many things in the world. You know, you don't know problems coming, will be coming. Destroyed as if never happened those problems. Because Birkat Kohanim, one of the greatest brachot. Shebishvilo tishra shechina al Israel. Because of Birkat Kohanim, shechina shines. Hashem's dwelling shines over the Jewish nation. Kedichtiv. It says, Vesamu et shmi al Bnei Israel. Hashem says, put my name over Jewish nation. By Birkat Kohanim, we put Hashem's name. And what the, what the Kohen makes bracha, how he makes bracha? Levarechet amo Yisrael be-ahava. Be-ahava. A, Aleph, one. He is five, will be six. He is another five. Will be eleven. Bet is two, will be thirteen. Be-ahava. Thirteen. With 13, and it says Be'ahava. Bet is Gimatria? 2. 13 times 2. How much comes out to? 26. That's Hashem's name, Yud Kev It says, I'm going to bless you with Hashem's name. When you bring Hashem's name among the nation, you, when you love people. Kohanim love people when they bless. I'm going to bless you with a love. That brings Hashem. Love of Hashem to a coin, love of a coin to Klal Israel. Two loves brings Hashem's name down. Venoda kisod birkat koanim hu gadol velam shebishviloto tishra shchina al Israel kedichti v'samu yishma al bnei Israel v'ani avarchem ve'aretz melech kavod Hashem and then the whole land fills up with Hashem's name. Vezo mikrit deneshike ar o urekia ahadodi. Before Birkat Kohanim, Hashem's Shekhinah was in Shamaim. During Birkat Kohanim, he brings down Hashem's Shekhinah. So he connects Shamaim and the land. So what he does? He does the kissing between heaven and the earth. Guys, you got it one more time. What the Arab said to the Rabbi Barbar mm. Let me show you Where? the kiss of the heaven and the earth. The kiss? The kiss. Kiss, yeah. Kiss. But they touch each other. <laughs> this is all hint. Openly, when you see the heaven and earth kissing each other, when you come to Shul and Kohen gives bracha. Before Kohen gives bracha, Shekhinah is in Shamaim only. After Kohen gives bracha, he makes the image of the land, Shekhinah comes down. And what happens? He connects the heaven and the earth by bringing Shekhinah to the ground also, to the land also. So now we have Shekhinah in Shamaim and the earth. Who was the first person in the world who brought Shekhinah from Shamaim to down? Abraham Avinu. He says, Shamaim, Shmei Shamaim. Then he says, Va'ala, Va'ala Aretz. Ani Hashem Elokechem 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 Allah Shamaim ve Allah Aretz. Hashem is in the Shamaim and the land. Who brought that? Avraham Avinu. Before it was only Shamaim. Then Avraham Avinu brought belief of Hashem to the world. Then Hashem dwelling in the world as well. Also, Zerashim Shon says it in different parasha. Okay. Asli ve Chazoi da Avet Kui Kui. So what happened? He went and he saw the Shamaim. What he did? He carved in the window. Kelomar Chalonot. He made windows. The Amrin and the Midrash. It says in the Midrash, Al Pasuk, Kotevarechu. What it says, Kotevarechu et Bnei Israel, Amor, Lahem. What Kotevarechu? So say to them, to the Jewish nation. Amar Kadosh Bachu. Hashem said, Afalpi she amarti le Kohanim she yu mumarchim etchem. Even though I said to Kohanim to bless you, in my hem ani omedu mumarech etchem. Hashem said, even though I said to Kohanim to bless you, I'm standing with them and blessing you as well. Hashem is standing with Kohanim and blessing us. Lefikach, ha Kohanim polsim kapehem lomar, shakadosh bachu omed achareinu. Therefore, Kohanim have to spread their hands, saying, behind us, standing Hashem with us. Kohen spreading his hand. He could stand like this, why is he spreading? He says, I am continuation, I'm the 
extension of the one who's standing behind me. Who is that? Hashem. Coincides to people. I could not spread my hand. I could just stand straight. Why am I spreading? To tell you I'm like messenger. I'm spreading bracha from the back to you. But who is in the back of the coin? Shechina. Ulkahu Omer. Therefore it says, Mashgiach mina chalonot. Hashem, with a, how you say, spying? Hashem spying, seeing, Mashgiach. Hashem seeing from the supervisors, from the windows. Which windows are we talking about? How many windows? In the Rabbi Barba Khanas case, one window. He put on the window, right? Which window? Window of Shekhinah. When Kohen gives Brach, how many windows there? Five windows. One, two, three, four, five. Right? He says, when he makes it, Shekhinah comes from him and sees the through the nation. Through five windows. Isn't this deep? Let's continue. Miben kitfotem shel Kohanim. Hashem says, I am watching from the back of the shoulders of the Kohanim. Metzitz min acharakim. And I'm like spying from the... Crevices. Holes. I say holes? Crevices. Crevices. Thank you. Hashem seeing from the crevices. What is that? That's the five holes. In the beginning we said Hashem from the back like Mashgiach watching. Mashgiach min achalonot. Watching from the windows. What are the windows? The shoulders of the Kohanim. That they, they spread their hands. But then it says, Hashem, I'm watching from the bottom of the five crevices. It says, Harakim or Ha Harakim? It says, Ha Harakim. What Hey stands for? Aleph is one, Bed is two, Gimel is three, Dalet is four, and Hey is five. Five windows. That, that are the windows that Kohanim have when they give Birkat Kohanim. Ve'od, Darshin and Tam. And also, they explain the reason where we got the word window from. Emor laem, tell them, melo vav. With emor, it says with the extra vav. Kach. Ot vav, take the letter vav. Vesim ota betoch ko. Take the, from emor lahem, amar. Take vav out and put in ko. Ko, kav hey, put the vav, will be kavem. Kavem means a window. Betoch koveye kave. Kave means lashon chalon. That means a window. So again, when Kohen gives bracha, he opens a window that connects Shamaim and the Eretz, and we get Shechina blessing us. Shekaltir le saltoi va anchote bekauto de rakia. He took his basket. That he carries bread and he put it into the window of the, the window. sky, heaven. He put in the window of the heaven. Shakalti bedati kol mazonot veinachti sham. What does that mean, basket of the bread? Request. Request. You come to Shu, what do you do in Shu? You pray, Hashem, give me parnasa, give me health. That's your basket of your bread. That you beg from Hashem. The, the secret of the details of the story is not so simple. It's all hinted to Birkat Kohanim. When you hear Birkat Kohanim, put a basket of your bread on the table. Hashem, ha, huh? give me this, give me this, give me this. Marry my son, marry my daughter. Hashem, find me good kudo, good this, good that. My children should become big tummy de chachamim. Find me this, find me that. Make my son learn, huh? Yeah, but you love to have kavanot. You love to have kavanot. No, but don't think about it. No, you just kavana is no problem. I said don't say it. Kavana, you have to say. You look at your son. You give him bracha. You become big talmid chacham. Don't say it, but have kavana. You know what? One of the brachot to become rich and successful is birkat kohani. What it says? Yivarechecha. Hashem should make you wealthy. Hashem vishmerecha. Hashem should make you wealthy and guard you. Guard you. Guard you why? Watch you. That stay away from some 
crooks, some evil people. Some people, they cause you trouble. Stay away from them. Okay. So what does that mean, my basket of my bread? I taught all my needs and I put it over there in the window of the Shamaim. כלומר, התפללתי לפני השם על מזונותיי, כמו, התפלל, כמו התפילות המיוחדות לעד לצון הזה. He said, I took all my prayers and I put it on that window. As, let's say you do on Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Mincha, Shabbat, עד לצון, time of need. He said, oh, it's special time, let me pray with a strong, strong, strong kavana. And I did so. I put it there and I turned around, it's gone. What does that mean? ועיקר זאת התפילה היא בעת שמסיימים הכוהנים שים שלום. And the power... The power of this is in the end when say Mavarechet Amo Yisrael Bashalom after the bracha of Sim Shalom. That is the power when you have to have kavana. Mavarechet Amo Yisrael Bashalom. That is the time to make this kavana. Umiyat she siyam tefilati haiti mevakesh imaita od sham ashkina vlash kachti. But you know what happened? After birkat kohanim, you want to still after bracha Sim Shalom, you want to still talk to Hashem. But you see, shkina is gone already. Next time when you want to see Shekhinah, when is it going to be? Next Shacharit. When you go to hear Birkat Kohanim again. <coughs> Talks about daily, daily base. So now, he's going to say it now. He take the window, you take the, you take the basket and put it in the window, right? He turned around, it was gone. Why? To teach us that the only time you have Shekhinah, Accepting your tefillah direct is during Birkat Kohanim. Once you miss that time, you have to wait for next day already. Go next day. As soon as Barakat Sim Shalom is over, the window disappears. The Amrinan, Be Midrash, Dome Dodi Leitzvi. Like in Shira Shirim it says, My loved one is compared to the deer. Dome Dodi Leitzvi. My loved one, Shekhinah, is compared to deer. What does that mean? Matzvizeh. Makiv mi makom la makom. It runs from one place to another place and runs around from one place to another place. Ume gede legeder. It goes from one fence to another fence. Ume ilan la ilan. From one tree to another tree. Kach hakadosh baruch hu medaleg u mekapetz mi kneset zo le kneset zo. How deer runs away. From one tree to another tree, from one fence to another chance, fence, from one land to another land. Same thing, Hashem. Hashem goes from this shul where there's Birkat Kohanim. As soon as they finish Birkat Kohanim, Hashem goes to this shul where there's Birkat Kohanim. Then from this shul, he goes to the other shul, and from the other to another one. And like this, Hashem jumps around from one shul to another shul to catch them on their time of Birkat Kohanim. Because as soon as Kohen spreads his hands, he brings Shekhinah down. <laughs> huh? Cohen. No, What's the point for him to do that? What's the point for him to do that? <laughs> My father, when I was a small kid, I said, Abba, we're begging so much from Hashem. Doesn't he get annoyed? He says, My son, when mother has a baby, and the <laughs> tiny baby, Drinking mother's milk, the more milk he drinks, the more mother is happy. Which father doesn't want his son to be successful? Hashem wants us to be the most and the highest. So much Hashem waiting for us to give us a lot of atzlacha. Now we know, if I need to run to work, and there is Birkat Kohanim, I'll say one second, my main bracha is here. I'll stay one minute extra. Just not to lose Birkat Kohanim. All this for what? Just to bless Jewish nation. Last piece for today. And Be'ezad Hashem, we wish Hashem should give us atzlacha, bracha, growth in Torah. The main bracha in the Torah, when you grow by Torah. Amrile, Ike Ganvi Acha. What did Laba Barbachana said when he lost his basket? He said, What, there are robbers here? Huh? Just his place. Even here, people still? Shema Yeshkan, Avonot Shegormim Siluk Shina. 
What does that mean, robberies? Who is your robber in this world? Yetzir Hara. When you sin, it takes from you all the mitzvot that you shouldn't be able to do mitzvot. So he said, what, well, there is also that you could sin and lose your mitzvot because of your averot? Amalei Lau, Arab, said to him, no. Galgala Darakiyahu, this is the twist of the world. This is how the world is running. Hukach, Darkot Tamid, Liyot Doleg Vakofetz. That's the way of Shechina. Hashem always jumps around. Where there's Birkat Kohanim here, Birkat Kohanim finished, this is not here anymore. When the Birkat Kohanim time comes, that's the, that's the lottery time. Take advantage. The Hadar, not Allah. He said to him, you want to get it back? Wait till tomorrow. Why? Tomorrow because Kohanim will begin. Then you'll get your bracha again. When next time because Kohanim will be in the Kohanim will be blessing people, then you'll find this bracha dashelf. Ha mitzvah. He says, really, Kohanim should be doing every day. This is Rabbi is Ashkenazi. So he says, we don't do it. But where, Baruch Hashem, we don't have this problem. He says, we don't do it every day. But we do it, Baruch Hashem, with Faradim. We have every day. There's a lot of, a lot of questions come up. But why, why, why Ashkenazim stop? One of the reasons I heard that, uh, since there were too many pogroms, too many problems like Holocaust, a lot of things mixed up. A lot of things mixed up, so today, not for sure, for sure, 100%, we don't have Kohanim 100%. Marshal, in Yam Shem Shlomo, Rawad Yosef, Maharaj Dam, they all bring that today's Kohanim, uh, Safek Kohanim, only few families who have lineage coming to their main source, they are the real Kohanim. One of the Ashkenazi families that for sure Kohanim is Rappaport. Rappaport, they, are, they know they have paper of Til Arona Kohen. So they are real Kohanim. But today, we don't have real Kohanim, therefore Ashkenazim have a custom not to do Birkat Kohanim. But ours, since we do all the time, we say today Kohanim Chazaka, we have uh, Kohanim that his father, his grandfather, great great grandfather, everybody did Birkat Kohanim. So they are Kohanim, Chazaka, and they come out and they do Birkat Kohanim and we accept it. And Baruch Hashem, it works. Birkat Kohanim works. Many things should have happened, didn't happen. And many things that stands to be happening, not good, will be nullified by Hashem to do Birkat Kohanim. Amen.